For most of us, Dame Judy Dench is M. Fake! Just get out of the way! Don't you recognize the car? Madam. She transformed the role and helped bring James Bond into the 21st century. A lifetime of experience allowed her to create a very modern and very human M. Judy has balls, M has balls, and she knows how to use them. <laughs> you connect with her immediately when you see her on screen because there's a sort of joy and there's this twinkle in her eye, which is just sort of magical. Dame Judi Dench has become one of the most successful and recognized actors in the world. This was in no small part due to her role in international espionage. Who the hell do they think they are? I report to the Prime Minister, and even he's smart enough not to ask me what we do. Have you ever seen such a bunch of self-righteous, ass-covering prigs? I didn't for a second ever imagine that I would play M. And I was a huge fan of the Bond films. 17 years and did seven films. And just the most glorious time. I think acting is... I think it's always talked about. It shouldn't be talked about, it should be done. And it should either be a success or not a success. Just get on, tell the story. Where the hell have you been? Enjoying death. 007, reporting for duty. Judy being cast as M was just a piece of inspired casting. It allowed a female voice a, um, something that was probably needed in a Bond, in the Bond franchise. She came in and she took it and she made it her own. Her first outing was back in 1995 with Pierce Brosnan who was also new to the Bond family. Would you care for a drink? Thank you. Your predecessor kept some cognac in the top. I prefer the... bourbon. Ice? Yes. I remember Pierce Brosnan's first day with Judy, and it transpired that he was absolutely terrified. And as... And we were chatting in the lift, and he was going, well, you've worked with her, and what's she like? And I was going... Well, she's lovely, she's divine. And he was going, yeah, but she's, you know, she's this, it's Judy Dench. It's our first time together as James Bond and um, both of us, I think, are quite anxious and nervous. They wanted her to have a cup of tea in her hand and she said, no, that's gonna rattle too much. <laughs> she said, just give me a scotch. So she sat there with a the scotch in her hand. I said to her, do you like doing films? And she said, oh, no, 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 I don't like films at all. You don't like me, Bond. You don't like my methods. You think I'm an accountant. A bean counter more interested in my numbers than your instincts. The thought had occurred to me. Good. Because I think you're a sexist, misogynist dinosaur. A relic of the Cold War. That particular scene and that line really set the benchmark for the rest of her career playing M. Point taken. Not quite, W7. She gave it a context for the first time, rather than us feeling like we're in this permanent time warp of 1969, sort of, you know, or 72, the sort of Connery, Roger Moore axis, and basically they were stuck there forever, you know, that she somehow went, actually, no, we can, th this is now. But however much Judy brought to Bond, her screen time was still limited until director Sam Mendes took over. When I directed Bond, I thought, hang on a minute, we haven't exploited the fact we've got a great actor playing M. Take the shot. I can't. I'm... Take the bloody shot. So let's try and unlock the potential of the character and, and her genuine interaction with Bond. That's something that I felt Judy could bring that nobody else could. His name is Tiago Rodriguez. He was a brilliant agent. But he started operating beyond his brief, hacking the Chinese. The handover was coming up and they were on to him, so I gave him up. Yeah, she stole every scene she's in. But, I mean, how, what a joy is that for me as an actor? 
When people like Judy walk on set, I relax. And with Judy, you're always guaranteed of a little magic. Please. Who is your favorite Bond? Oh, you see, I knew that would have been. <laughs> how can I say that? Now, how can I say that? How would Pierce feel? <laughs> then Judy might feel differently if she knew the role that Craig had played in her demise in her last Bond outing, Skyfall. I think I actually was the one who came up with the idea. You try and think of what's the biggest, best story you can, you can tell. And that, was, that seemed to me, to me and everybody in the room to be the biggest and the, the most emotionally, you know, kind of uh, charged story that we could tell. And then we had to, of course, break the news to Judy, <laughs> which wasn't so easy. I had 17 years of being M, so mm -hmm. I had a full go at it. Christ. And I loved it, just loved it. I think she was drawing on the fact that she'd had this long seven movie relationship with the franchise and it felt to her like M's relationship with MI6 was the equivalent. She was grieving it and it's nice when art and life intersect to that degree when someone who has had a 20 year relationship with the role is actually saying goodbye to it. In Skyfall, M had become the film's driving force. Judy Dench, the ultimate Bond girl. I read your obituary of me. And? Appalling. Yeah, I knew you'd hate it. Did call you an exemplar of British fortitude. No, but it was all right. <laughs>